Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to talk to you about Curl and Lighting's behavioral health fixtures. So remind me, what classifies a fixture as behavioral health? Well, there's a couple different characteristics it has to have. It's got to be vandal and ligature resistant. It's got to have tamper-proof hardware. It's got to have extra thick lensing and be IK10 rated. Right, and IK10 means that we're subjecting the fixture to increasing levels of force and, and I, it's not going to break. And I didn't even flinch. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. So the whole idea behind these fixtures is that the patient cannot access the fixture to create self-harm right. or harm somebody else, harm one of the staff, for example. Absolutely. And we've got a few examples here with us. Mm -hmm. This is our newest and smallest ligature-resistant downlight, four inches from flange to flange, but the lens aperture is actually less than three. So trying to bring that residential feel, that comfort, that patient comfort into these spaces with a very unobtrusive fixture uh, that carries all the safety ratings that you right. just talked about. That's awesome. And I think that one's got a, the, the one piece cast flange that's mounted directly to a metal bracket inside of the housing to again, eliminate any intrusion into that fixture. So the latest product that we're introducing is called Hitsville. It's a task light. It's low profile, it's IP66 rated, it's a smooth, compact design, but it's packed with features. So why is it called the Hitsville? Because being Detroit-based, curling, it's... You can hit it? Because you can hit it, and Barry Gordy's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's a Motown reference. It's a Motown reference. <laughs> Hitsville. It's a Motown reference. So it's a task light, mm -hmm. and one of the differentiators on, on the Hitsville task light is that it's got the aimable light engine. Why is that important? Well, tasks can happen at all spaces, all heights, all places. So you need different optics for a wide distribution, a narrow distribution, and also the ability to adjust at the point of installation makes it really easy to ensure that no matter where the task light is on the wall, it's shining light and the right beam size of light onto the task wherever that may be. Makes sense. Sounds very flexible in that space. Above and beyond that, I think we have different color temperatures available in that fixture. Yep. We also have different controls. So we want to give the patient uh, a little bit of, of Control. Control. Thank you. Over their environment. And by doing this, we can do uh, touch to dim, touch to off, and it's all indicated on the faceplate with a little dimple that, that the patient can touch. Yep. Again, it gives them that little bit of control over their uncontrolled environment that they're in right now. Absolutely. And the, that dimple, it's just noticeable enough that you know that that's where you tap, and but it, it fades into the background when you're not looking right. at the, the task light. Yep. So it's a really nice uh, appearance on that control. Yeah, so we have interchangeable face plates depending on the design of your space. So we've got an oblong shape, which looks like an oval, and we also have a rectangular shape. And there's secure bracing and tamper-proof hardware specifically for the ligature-resistant version as well. So the secure bracing holds the fixture into a joist so that it really can't move around in the wall behind um, where the patient is. And then you've got the tamper-proof fasteners that are very inconspicuous on the bottom of the face plate and it really looks like a fastener-free fixture, but it's got all of the security of those security screws. Makes sense. And we also have a companion step light to go with that. It's got the same face plate, so you have the same aesthetic, so you can continue that throughout the room, but it's got different optical outputs, different light outputs, and it's got a diffuse face plate, so that it gives you good, even illumination along the floor. And is this only available in white? No, it's not, and that's a good point. We actually offer it in an amber chip set, or we have a multiple different gel coats that you can use, gel filters. Right, and the IS recommends, too, in these healthcare settings that lights that are on at night be on a photo sensor. Right. Uh, so these also have a photo sensor capability. It's that same location as the touch sensor. Swap that out for a photo sensor, and that's what we use on the nightlight version. Right, and it still maintains its IK10 rating, Absolutely. Which, is, which is great. And lastly, this is our scenic panel. We're showing this as a surface mount, but we also have it as recessed. Um, it comes in a white flat panel and a scenic panel. Right, and the white panel is available in two different lumen packages, 1500 and 2500. And then we have 14 standard scenic panel images that we offer, as well as custom images. Uh, we just, our marketing department lays it out and then we produce it. And these are also cool in behavioral health because you can mount the recessed version on a wall and maintain the ligature resistant properties. So just another way to incorporate these backlit, very nice natural images in these behavioral spaces. Yeah, and then it looks like a window at that point. Exactly. That's awesome. Great. So as you can see, all of our products are designed around, number one, safety and patient comfort. 
Absolutely, and we take that mindset and we apply it to all the behavioral health offerings from Curlin, and there are many. We've got the panels, scenic and white. We have the down lights, shower lights, uh, wall washes. We have a VRL2 linear slot light available in white and behavioral health. The Hitsville, the new task light and step light version. Um, am I forgetting anything? Oh, there's a recessed motorized ligature resistant product in the Infralead Pro family. Uh, so really, almost anything you need in a behavioral health space, we've done it and we've tried to make it as comfortable, safe, and really pleasant as possible in these right. spaces. Right. So I think that's a wrap on uh, behavioral, right? I think so. Great. Thank you. Thank you.